Deion Sanders is one of the most colorful, verbose athletes in U.S. history. On Thursday, a rival, he's a, he's a coach now, a rival coach talked trash about him wearing glasses. Then on Friday, you announced a glasses collaboration. Was this plan? How big of a sales boost did this all give your brand? It was massive, man. Um, so my dad actually put him on my radar about a year and a half ago before he was at Boulder. And he was like, Chase, you got to take a look at this guy. He's making huge moves in college football and he's about to make bigger moves. And um, finally, I caught wind of him. And it just so happens that he was in the market for a sunglass deal at this time. And uh, so we reached out and we made something happen before the season as he was really passionate about it. And it's been absolutely skyrocketing. So it's super, super exciting. Wait, you're, you're, you might be dodging the questions here, Chase. Was this all planned out? Is this a stunt? Did the other, was the other coach in on it? Because he talks about his sunglasses was... the day before you announced this. And also, you got to tell us. We've heard reports it's $1.2 million in sales after this. How big of a bump was it really? It was, it was yeah, it was $1.2 in sales on that same day. Uh, the partnership was planned, but the drama between the CSU coach was not planned. That just fell into our lap, honestly. So the timing was impeccable. Um, and yeah, we're on pace to have our biggest month ever. All right, so I want to talk about your business now. Um, you're a sunglasses maker. You were an independent brand. You were bought by a larger Italian company that is publicly traded. Um, I want to talk about your sourcing, though. So how long does it take to make a pair of sunglasses? You manufacture in China. How long does that take right now? That 1.2 million, that was all pre-orders. How long is it going to take you to fulfill those orders? So our first order was for 16,000 units. We've sold 72,000. Um, so we are working around the clock to get these things filled as much as possible. Uh, but we're looking for a December delivery on these pre-orders right now. So uh, be patient, but we're working hard to get them out the door as fast as possible. So it's about a four-month lead time. That's basically what you're spelling out. How does that compare to the height of the pandemic? What does that tell you about what's going on when it comes to manufacturing in China? You know, but before the, I mean, during the pandemic, it was extremely hard to manufacture. Obviously, you know, factories were shutting down. There was very, very little labor. Um, costs were really high, so materials were hard to get. And then you add, add in the transportation issues with like shipping and planes. So it was a lot harder back then. Honestly, this has stabilized a lot more post COVID. But to be honest, Coach Prime, there's nothing in the world that could have prepared us for this. Um, so we're doing everything we can to get these things as, out the door as fast as possible. But um, we are looking at opportunities to bring manufacturing uh, closer to shore as well, just to give us more, you know. Okay. Um, give us a sense of what it's like right now being a direct-to-consumer brand. You're making most of your sales direct-to-consumer um, through e-commerce. Who are you using? Are you using FedEx? Are you using UPS? And what's that been like right now as we see those two, both of those companies kind of in a, a transformation right now? Um, and also getting over some labor issues when we're talking about UPS. We actually use USPS because um, all of our stuff is like under a pound. So we try to make our stuff as like light, light and easy to ship as possible. We do use FedEx as well. Um, but, you know, right now, e-commerce is actually really, really tough. It's actually in like a big slump in the last five years. Uh, the sentiment around e-com has been very low. So brands that aren't willing to take big risk and, and really try things in a different way, um, it's it's being hard. It's just harder to grow right now. So uh, I think that's why this Coach Prime thing is so special because it really does. Um, it's so out of the box and it's so big and it's so different than what most brands are doing.